Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we're going to be going over the new Football Outsiders. I know, like always, I'm like a day late on this because I've just been having... I definitely will be a day late next week. Uh, I'm having LASIK eye surgery done on Friday, so... I definitely... I can't, I can't stare at a screen at all, so I can't edit the video and I can't... Not that I edit a whole lot on these videos, but I can't even, like, sit there and stare at the screen for, like, 20 minutes. I have to come home and go to sleep and then hopefully I can record something on Saturday but if not stuff will I'll catch up on everything on Sunday uh, but let's take a look at the new football outsiders we've got Matthew Stafford and the big complaint everybody had is is that Matt Stafford already just got a new card and 87 overall the puzzle piece one so while it is annoying I do believe football outsider mm -hmm. makes their picks on their cards independent of uh uh, what mutt? It, what, they don't know what cards have come out in mutt. It's just completely independent of mutt. And so now, in order to do the collection, you still need the week one football outsiders, the six of them, and you need the four uh, players. I actually pulled the Levante David. I opened up a few pro packs um, when these came out, just looking to see if I could pull one or whatnot, and I pulled Levante David, and I was pretty happy about that. But these collectibles are currently going for... They can't be going for much. Nothing this week should be going. Yeah, 6400 So you can get them for about, like, 38 39 k uh, overall. Uh, for all the collectibles, we have a name that's... Oh, God, what is his name? Laurent Duvar, Duvernay Tardif. Or Tardif. That's how... That, that's the only way I know how to say his name. Okay, but he's an 80 overall right guard. He's got 90 strength, 85 run block, 81 pass block, 83 impact blo impact blocking, 76 awareness, 84 stamina, 75 speed, and 75 agility. <laughs> Let's see, he's 6'5". Uh, he has a zone run scheme, which is alright, but any of these things that take like five people to get the boost, sometimes they're just not worth it. Because uh, sometimes you end up playing players that you don't actually want on your team, but... It's all kind of a give or take thing, but he's got, let's see here, any other important stats, I doubt it, 83 Excel. He can carry the football for some reason, he has 68 carry. He has 79 jumping, not sure why that would help you, but he does have that. I think all the important stats for linemen are on the back, of, yeah, all the important stats for linemen are on the back of card. I never need to actually look at those, but I always do. Uh, Tony Jefferson got a Football Outsiders card in a loss to the Patriots, so not sure how this happened, but he's going for 2K. Does it tell me what he did? Led team with 10 tackles, and two, including two five run tackles for two yards or less. Visit football. Really? Really? That gets you a Football Outsiders card? Having 10 tackles and five tackles in the run game for two yards or... The Patriots can't run the ball anyway. When the Garrett Blunt's out there, like, half the time, it's either he's getting seven or eight yards or he's getting none. So I'm not sure this is that impressive as a stat line against the Patriots. But, you know, Tony Jefferson got himself a card. Uh, but he's a 5'11 safety. Uh, he's got 83 speed, 88 excel, 81 play recognition, 78 tackle, 79 man, 82 zone, 85 pursuit, and 86. I can't suggest this card to anybody. No wonder it's going for 2K. This man's got 83 speed and 82 zone. Like, what am I going to do with that? He's going to get burned every time I play him in a zone. I can't, you can't play him in man. And it's just annoying to bring your safety on a blitz every play. I don't know. This card, I can see why it's so cheap. Uh, he doesn't even have good catching. He's got 68 catching. His tackle, like, the thing that they gave him this card for was five tackles on runs. For less than two yards. His tackle is only in 78. What is that? 84 jumping. Uh, trying to find something to give this card net. He's got some decent... He's got 71 block shed. But then it kind of goes downhill with his finesse and power move. Yeah, I just can't. I can't even recommend this card. Like, I can't even recommend it for your bu like a budget squad. Next is Willie Sneed. A player that should have gotten a card. He's only going for 3,500, 83 overall. What did he get this for? Let all wide receivers with 73 DYAR in week one. Okay. I always like to know what they they give the cards for because, yes, we all know that Willie Sneed had a really nice game. But usually they have some underlying reasons why 
exactly they picked this card over another. But he's got 87 speed, 87 catching, 82 elusiveness, 84 spec, 79 row, 79 release, 89 route running, 87 catching traffic, and 85 jumping. So even though, eh, no, he can't jump, he can't go for a jump ball, so don't throw him a jump ball, because that jumping's, I thought he was a little taller than 5'11", I thought he was like 6'1", but at 5'11", with that jumping, he's... He's losing every jump ball to any corner. I think almost every corner that people are going to have out there are going to have higher jumping than 85. Uh, carrying's decent, so he won't ever he won't fumble the ball for you, most likely. He can return kicks, which is nice. Uh, anything else? He's got decent spin and juke moves. I think that's about it. And when I already went over all of that, that release at 79 really kills this card, but... If that's not a big deal for you, then it's not. Then it's actually a pretty decent card. Okay, so let's go take a look at this Levante okay. David. I have him in my uh, active card, so we'll go take a look. And then we'll go take a look at the Matthew staff. I guess we'll just go ahead and go to the auction block and search it this way. All right, Levante David. Oh, God, is he a left? I think he's, I think he's a left outside line. I'm probably wrong, but it doesn't matter. Where is... There you go, Football Outsiders. Alright, load. Okay, yeah, he's a right outside linebacker. I'm stupid. I think I was thinking... Yeah, it doesn't matter. We have this Levante David. How much is he going for? He is going for... Wow, he's actually going for 17 You're telling me I could actually sell this guy for 17 I need to get on that. I need to sell my Levante David because that's a that's a that's a steal. I can get 17k for this. I'm not even using him. So Levante David is going for 17k. He got this card for being disrespected in Madden every year and getting a low overall card. But led NFL with five defeats this week, three tackles for loss, plus two tackles that stop third down receptions short of conversion. All right, that's good. He has the cover linebacker, so you can pair this up with the new. Uh, Mike Singletary, if you wanted to, but he has 86 speed, 72 strength, 87 acceleration, 89 tackle, 89 play recognition, 84 uh, block shed, 89 pursuit, and 86 hit power. This card's a beast. Let's see, hold on, that's not what I wanted to do. Coaching is actually pretty good at 72. Jumping in an 87 is not half bad. He's got decent power, finesse, and block shed. Means he can rush, and then he's got those good man and zone stats at 73 and 81. Stamina is good. Play recognition and pursuit are pretty good. Actually, they're they're good. Hit power at 86 isn't half bad, but that is a really solid card. If it wasn't 17k, I would definitely be throwing him on the budget team. But the 81 overall, I think, works just as well. But let's take a look finally at the Matthew Stafford. quarterback and he is currently going for 75,000 coins he's got 70 speed, 75 speed 86 awareness 94 throw power a 90 throw accuracy short 88 throw accuracy mid 90 throw accuracy deep and 77 play action along with 80 throw on the run he has the deep threat chemistry which is actually nice a lot of guys are getting the deep threat chemistry which is kind of annoying if you want to do like any other of the chemistries, the deep threat is what most of the quarterbacks are getting. Uh, led all quarterbacks with that 197 DYAR in week one, 31 to 39, 340 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. All right, so any important stats here? Acceleration is not bad. Awareness is decent. Carry is, is uh, it's all right. I don't know why you'd need jumping. None of this matters. Juke doesn't really matter. Stamina is not bad. But really on quarterbacks, you get all the stats just like linemen on the back of the card. But not a halfback card. I don't know if I'd pay 75000 for the Matt Stafford, but it isn't a bad card at all. But guys, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you on my next one. Peace out.